first off, I'll just get right into the software. Um, show you what's going on. So, always comes up with this. Just hit yes, and the software loads. So this is a great tool for like uh, curved countertops or soffits or anything that you have to match. I did a job last week where I had to go and, and do templating for a counter and the walls were two, three inches off square and uh, we were able to account for that um, when, we were, when we were getting ready to cut the counter. So this is a basic screen when you first, when you first open up the software. Uh, this is the same thing that you would get on the tablet that comes with it, but you know, it's just on the computer instead. And down here, if you look down at the bottom, you can see there's four different ways that you can connect um, to the machine, or a couple different ways to connect to the machine and a couple different ways just to open the software. So the first is this USB connection. This is if you had like a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, this is if you just want to open the software without connecting to the device. And this is if you want to connect the computer to the handheld unit for like software updates. Right now, I actually have unit connected via USB, uh, so I'm just going to click this. It's going to say connecting. It's just like the first little help screen that comes up. Um, let me know what kind of basics. I'll go over that in a minute. And this is the default uh, software setting screen. Um, you can connect via Wi-Fi, but what they suggest is if you do that and you're on like a laptop, that you actually buy a secondary Wi-Fi adapter so that you can connect it and you won't get any like interfe interference uh, that. So that was just a side note. So I'll start over here. Um, this icon is basically the target. I'll get back to that after I go around around uh, the top here. But uh, this is if you want to take a measurement. This is a list uh, of like application settings. I'll get back to that. Up here is like basically um, tells you what feature you're in. Right now we're just in a basic measurement feature. Uh, and there's a bunch more that I will go into in a little bit. This little home, which is not lit up right now, but if you're in the other feature and you want to get back to this, uh, basically like the home screen, you just click that and it's like pressing EXE on your keyboard if you're used to AUGAD, it kind of brings you back to the big one. Down here, you'll see a bunch of grayed out features um, that will be lit up when we start taking measurements. And then this one and two, basically this is like a you can go back and forth between things, uh, one or two. Uh, time, how the uh, unit is actually connected, so it's connected via USB and the unit's plugged in. Um, so I'll get kind of right into it. If you want to actually see what you're looking at, you click this target, and you can see I have it um, in my office. Uh, so Sorry, it's not necessarily the best, but uh, you'll kind of get a the gist of what this thing can do. Um, but this is a basic target screen. You can move this around um, by clicking. If you have a touch screen or something like that, you can touch the points that you want, or you can actually move the unit uh, manually as long as you don't uh, shift or move the actual position. I'll come back to this in just a little bit. Um, so I'm going to kind of get into the applications. This is your basic... Uh, settings. Um, you got applications. I'm going to start at the bottom actually. So so in basic settings you have a snap radius. Um, this is like if you were to take a point and then go around the room and come back to a point. Um, this will snap you on that uh, specific point. Um, I actually like to set this for zero and then that way it won't really snap me on another point so it doesn't, you know, I want to have a point two inches from another one. Uh, it goes all the way up to eight, but if I want to have a point two inches from the other one, I can just take it and it will take a shot. So I'm going to click OK. Go back to settings. Um, assistance, like if you want it to like you know, prompt you through things. Um, units, or the basic units of measurement for the slope. I have set for degrees, for distance. I have it set for inches and 30 seconds. For angle, I have it set for degrees as well. Decimal separator, self-explanatory, and then horizon is uh, set for zero um, as opposed to 90. That just makes sense to me. You can have welcome text if you wanted to like have it say, you know, hello Adam, how are you doing today? Uh, it could do that in the beginning. Uh, date and time is if you want to do that. That's helpful for when you're taking, uh, you can take pictures with this unit and it'll actually put like a timestamp on it. Language, self-explanatory. Uh, import, export is Basically, you can do format. This doesn't really matter too much. Um, this doesn't really matter too much. These coordinates 
kind of matter. As you can see right here, they have east, north, and height are some crazy dimensions. This is basically the zero, zero point or the, the XY point in your DWG file or DWX um, file when you export it. Um, they have it set up for like a surveyor type thing where you know they're thinking that you're going to be going into the negatives and the positives. I can actually go through and I'm going to set this for zero, um, zero, zero, because I'd like my drawing point to start at the zero, zero point. If it goes negative, it's fine. Um, so I'm just going to click OK. Back to things. Um, then you can do reset default if you want to just go back to the way it is. Next thing we have in the settings is basically the software, what you're using, um, which I'm using version 3.0. Uh, calibration, don't really mess with that too much. Um, it, it, these are factory calibrated right from Leica. There should really be no reason to mess with this. Um, theft protection, tilt sensor, all that kind of stuff to stay away from. Um, uh, protection if you need it. But then this is kind of the same screen we started with where you connect to stuff. You can um, change the connection. You can disconnect, connect via wireless. Um, and this YLAN channel is kind of, it's if you wanted to set your channel and then it would update the computer if you're having troubles connecting, but that we can go over later. Um, then if the calculator, we got file management, which is basically like, you know, we got our demo save there. Then I'm going to save a new one there today. And then now we finally get to the applications. So there's four different applications that you can run. This toolkit is basically like a basic toolkit. It doesn't actually save anything. I'll show you that in a minute. Room scan is probably where 90% of your stuff is going to be taken in, in that. Um, and don't let the name fool you. It's kind of, you know, there are some automated scans that you can do, but there's also some point scans that you, you know, you're actually moving the device and telling it where you want to take the measurements. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Projector is like if you had a, a DWG file and you had specific points on there, um, actually see if I can show you. You can take those points and import it into this program and it will, you would take the first point and set it and the disto would kind of move, uh, move around to the other points. Let me just show you real quick kind of what I'm talking about. My AutoCAD just crashed, so. So say, you know, say you had wall paneling or something, and you want to set up some screw points. Um, not used to doing my AutoCAD on the screen, so it's a little different. So say you wanted it, you knew where this point was going to be, but you wanted it to tell you where these other points are. You load this DXF into into the unit, locate this point first, and then it would automatically move to the sub subsequent points after that. So pretty powerful if you're doing like a wall paneling product or something like that. But uh, all right, um, and then there's a location. Location is basically a couple different things. Um, you can secure your location and you can relocate. In order, to, in order to relocate, you have to secure your location. And basically what that means is you're taking about four or five different reference dots that you would hit from a different location uh, that would basically locate the machine uh, if you want to move around the room, if it was a pretty big room, if you wanted to go from upstairs uh, to downstairs or downstairs to upstairs. Uh, I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, and then when you want to relocate, after you've done the sear points, you hit the relocate. Um, check locations just straight out right now. I think that's after we make the secure location. So back up to toolkit. Notice this, this information um, box that came up. It says the toolkit measures, but it will not be stored. Measurements will not be stored. Basically, this is like if you wanted to find out the height um, you can take two points. So I want to take the height of the ceiling. So I'm going to grab that point, take a shot. I'm just showing you this pretty quick because I want to get into the room scan. And I'm going to go right down to the floor. I'm going to take a shot right here. That's my. Um, and what it's going to do is it's taking that shot so it'll tell me the height of what I just measured. A second.
Okay, I, I was off plumb, so that's okay. Oh, that's why coat's in the way. All right, let me try that again. Okay, so that's the measurement, 96 and 5 eighths, which is pretty stinking close, and that's telling that's the plumb shot. And you can kind of keep going down through the list if you wanted to do like this is like if you wanted to measure 0 .10 inches from the ceiling, and then have that same point, you know, all the way around the room. That can do that. This is if you want to do kind of like a uh, right angle offset, you know, five inches over, ten inches up, um, and then kind of down the list. These are more just for your information. They're not really for, uh, they're not going to be stored. So I'm going to get back into room scan. So I'm going to hit the home button, which is, see if you see here, it's that's the mode that we're in. Hit the home button. Now we're back to the basic measurements, um, and I'm going to get into this room scan. So I'm going to go applications, room scan. This changed to room scan, so I know I'm right. Now it's asking me for a, a reference height. Now this is basically just like a benchmark of where we're going to be. Um, I'm going to click OK for this, and I'm actually going to just target a spot on the floor. I'm going to target it over here so you can, and you'll see what this is a little later when we see the uh, WX file. So just that shot, click OK. Um, it's not necessarily crucial for the shot, um, but it kind of gives you a base point of, of where everything's starting. So we're in room scan. We have some different features over here. This is basically where the features are. Um, right now, we're not necessarily in a feature, um, but I'll get into this later. There's a bunch of different things you can do here, but I'll show you that in a little bit.